What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about credit cards, especially cash rewards credit cards, and why you should consider getting some cash rewards credit cards if you don't have any now. Now currently, I realize that most people don't have a really good rewards credit cards, and most people actually have cards that still charge them annual fees, and they only get 1% in cash back, or 1% in rewards, from that credit card and it really doesn't provide them with that much value. In fact, if you guys are okay with paying an annual fee, you would be better off signing up for an account at Discover and getting the Discover checking account where you get a debit card that is linked to your checking account and that debit card gives you 1% flat cash back on everything you purchase while you make the purchases using the balance in your checking account. So before we start this video, if you're not interested in credit cards or you don't want to have a credit card or you can't get a credit card right now and you still want to be able to get some value from spending, then check out the Discover checking account and that is a free checking account. I personally use this account and it's been really, really good to me. With this account, you'll get 1% in cash back on anything you purchase with the debit card and that will give you some good value right there. Now let's go ahead and talk about the credit cards and why I think that everyone should have at least one if not multiple cash rewards credit cards. So one of the first pros to having a credit card or your rewards credit card is that you get cash back. Usually with debit cards, you don't get cash back. And if you go to your regular big bank and you sign up for a regular credit card, they're probably going to charge you a fee, probably 50 or $100 per year. And they're also probably only going to give you 1% on all your purchases. If you opt in for a very good cash rewards credit card, like let's say the Chase Freedom Flex or Unlimited, then you could be getting 5% in rotating categories each quarter. And these categories will change, but usually you'll get gas stations, internet and cable and phone services, streaming services, wholesale clubs, grocery stores, fitness clubs, home improvement stores, you'll get amazon.com and with some you'll even get Whole Foods markets and you'll also get Walmart and PayPal and these are just some of the categories that you can get 5% in cash back on if you opt for a very good cash rewards credit card. Now I'm using the Chase Freedom Flex as an example because it's one of the best in my opinion on the market right now but there are many other credit cards that you can get that can provide you with a lot of value and the best thing about this is that it won't cost you anything. So for example, with the Chase Freedom Flex, the card doesn't come with any annual fees. There are no annual fees. You never have to pay to use the credit card or pay to keep the credit card, unlike some of the other credit cards that you may currently have in your wallet, which may charge you an annual fee and probably only gives you 1% in cash back or sometimes even nothing. Now, in addition to not charging you any annual fees, once you sign up for the Chase Freedom Flex or Chase Freedom Unlimited or any of these very good cash rewards credit cards like a City Cash Rewards credit card or an American Express or a Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card, you'll get a sign up bonus and this is the norm. So in the case of the Chase Freedom Flex, you get $200 as a bonus after you spend $500 in three months, which is very easy. You can easily spend $500 in three months. Another popular one is the Discover It Cash Back, another card that I personally use. And with this one, they actually double your cash back in the first year. So if you got $1,000 in cash back in the first year, then they will add $1,000 to it. So you'll end up with $2,000 in cash back. Usually when you sign up for a cash rewards credit card, you'll usually have some sign-on bonuses, which is usually free cash or a statement credit just for opening the credit card account. And again, most of these credit cards come with no annual fees, so it's completely free to sign up and to use them. Now, the rewards usually don't stop there. For example, on a rotating category rewards credit card, like the Chase Freedom, you'll get 5% on up to $1,500 in bonus categories each quarter. And in fact, on the Chase Freedom Flex, and this is the card that I have and I really like, you'll get an additional 5% on travel purchases through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You can get 3% on dining at restaurants, including takeout services. You can get 3% on drugstore purchases all the time. And of course, you get 1% on everything else that isn't covered when you purchase. Now, once again, there is no annual fee, so the card is completely free. And most of these cards are completely free for you to open the account and to keep. 
Now, the good thing here is that most of these cash rewards credit cards, they either give you cash back or they give you points. And usually the points or the cash back doesn't expire. If you get points, you can convert the points to cash and send that to your checking account. So you'll get money just the same. Now, another good pro of getting a cash rewards credit card is that you have a very low intro APR. And I don't normally recommend that you keep a balance on your credit cards. I recommend that you pay your bills on time in full every month and you never spend what you can't afford to pay off on a credit card and that way you avoid the interest payments, you keep the sign on bonus, you keep the cash back and the card is completely free for you to own and use and you're just getting more value for your money. You're getting all the cash back, you get the sign on bonus and you're just benefiting from playing the credit card company's game and winning. Now, with that said, you can also use some of these credit cards for very large purchases because usually they have an introductory offer, which could be 0% APR or 0% in interest for 12, 15, or even up to 18 months on purchases. So for example, you could open one of these credit card accounts and you could use it and spend a lot from this credit card. And you could go 12 or 15 months with only paying the minimum payments and never paying any interest once you pay off the entire balance before the end of that 12 or 15 month period. Now, this of course depends on which credit card it is and what the offer is for that card at that time of opening the credit card account. Now, just before we go any further in this video, a very quick reminder here to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content, it really helps the channel out a lot. And also, if you're new here and you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about credit cards, banking apps, business ideas, and everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on all notifications. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day. Now let's get back to the pros of these credit cards. And another reason to ditch your debit card and use cash rewards credit cards is the protection that it offers. With credit cards, if scammers steal your data and your money, you're only liable for up to $50 off stolen money. For the rest of the cash stolen, you will be reimbursed. Debit cards are completely different. With a debit card, you can get the same protection, but only if you report that theft within 48 hours. If you wait longer or you don't realize for two days, you may not be able to get your money back and someone may have drained your checking account and also your savings account if you have them linked to the card or your savings account linked as overdraft protection on your checking account. Now, I think that these are good reasons to ditch all other debit and credit cards for high cash rewards credit cards and comment below and let me know what you guys think about this. And with all that said, if you're interested in learning more about credit cards, you can watch my playlist on credit cards and banking apps where I have reviewed many other credit cards and bank accounts. I'm also leaving a link below where you can sign up for Discover or Chase credit cards and get some bonus cash. So thanks for watching, all the best with your credit cards and managing your money, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.